He's learned how to attack every one of those. Drop coverages, everything. Nathan the night into the game for Minnesota and a quick bucket for number 13. Able to finish in traffic. And how about the shift in midair from left to right? Jordan-esque, perhaps? I feel a little, I, I kind of, he reminds me a little bit of Iverson. You know, a small guy who, unafraid and able to finish in traffic. And how about the shift in midair from left to right? Jordan-esque? Perhaps I feel a little I, I kind of he reminds me a little bit of Iverson, you know, a small guy who unafraid and inside it's night. Old school post up, big on big, jump hook goes. It's like a 1996 flashback. Tillman to Jackson turns the corner, left hand and one. Injuries and get people in and out of lineups. Right now, they just look a little bit out of sorts on the offensive end. Of course, you've got to give some credit to the T Wolves. T Knight out to Noel. Knight tees up a three. It's up and it's in. Minnesota, 13 degrees when I last checked. Oh, man. And it's going down. It's a travel on the Timberwolves. And uh, they just got to do a better job of it on the road. Edwards lost it on his way up, stays with Minnesota. Single digits on the shot clock. Russell comes up way short. Knight keeps that alive. And I've said this before on the air, and it's hard to believe. Rudy Gobert has the best individual offensive rating in NBA history. You know, I did not know that. Memphis nearly turned it over. Gobert with the block. Jackson. Defended by Knight, and that's a foul. And Jaron Jackson Jr. gets to the free throw line. I like, I like where you're going with that, Grant. Understanding your superpowers and stick it to him. First foul on Clark. Up against the shot clock. Knight releases it. Got a pretty good look as it turned out. He can get going though and be a little bit more aggressive offensively. Certainly, his team needs it here in this third quarter. He's got eight assists to go with his 18 points. Jackson 